Hey gang, Tony here, coming back at you with some more Halloween pumpkin ale and Halloween content. Today is the Parcel of Terror from Cryptocurium unboxing for September. Mm -hmm. And even though it's for September, I believe there was a particular item that I've been looking forward to checking out in here that is kind of Halloween-y, very Halloween-y, unless I am mistaken, which is possible. All right, we have the box, the portion of terror. Sorry, I had something caught in my throat. <laughs> Let's get into this. All right, we have orange as the theme this month. Once again, a very nice long letter explaining everything that is in the box. He starts off just explaining also that if you have a bloody jack, a red jack-o'-lantern there, that you win a mystery prize. I do not have the red jack-o'-lantern. We have Jason's Cryptocurium card, which you see most months. I'm going to dig in here and get to some of the uh, lower items. First off, it looks like a Nasratu print from Jason, I believe. Maybe not Jason, actually. Let me, I'll double check who this is from. But a very nice print. I'm going to hold that up. Hopefully it focuses well. Where are you? Nosferatu print. Count Orlock. Ah, this is from Brandon Zimmerman. Alright, so that is not uh, a Jason original. That is Brandon Zimmerman print. That's the guest artist for the month. Very nice. I love these prints. They come out looking very cool. Nice stuff. All right, next up, we have Phantom of the Opera die-cut sticker. These are always very cool, high-quality stickers. Love them. I like the blue hue that this has. There's a little bluish tint or hue to that sticker. Got quite the collection of these stickers. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with those. I hate using stickers. Even when I was a kid, I never really used them. I just would kind of put them in a drawer somewhere, which is probably not the most effective thing to do. Uh, but hey, you know, this is really cool. I was looking forward to checking this out. It is the Anti-Werewolf Charm and Wolfsbane Vial. So he has these together. We have the Werewolf Charm on a string here. Let me get you a nice look at that. I like it very much. I probably am going to hang them up somewhere on the wall. You guys can definitely see, I know now where my frame is. I always say, oh, I don't know what's in frame. I know for sure that I have Jason's brain keychain. And the anatomical heart is in frame, as well as some other stuff uh, that you probably couldn't see before. So I'm going to have the anti-werewolf charm somewhere on the wall. Can I fit this over my head? My big head? I cannot. My head is fat. I was gonna put it on for the uh, video but I don't want to try to untie it right now. So that's cool and then with along with that we have this little vial that he made which is a really I mean just be mostly because not mostly but largely because it is something really different than usual uh, but also because it's just really cool. He has... Alright, I want to get really close for this. So I'm going to scooch a little forward. He has a little vial with a cork in it and a label that I can only imagine he made himself. I'm sure he did. That says Wolfsbane on it. And inside the vial... I guess is Wolfsbane? I, I don't... I don't know. I, I suppose. It says Wolfsbane on it. I don't know if this is actually Wolfsbane that he purchased or if that's even really a thing. I, I don't know much about this, but there is something in there. It looks like little twigs. So that's pretty neat. Uh, let me see what it says on here. Even a man who is pure at heart and says his prayers by night may become a wolf when the Wolfsbane blooms and the autumn moon is bright. Having you been... Having you been feeling, I guess, haven't you been feeling peculiar when the moon is full? Perhaps you've developed an inhuman 
bloodlust. There are all symptoms of the onset of lycanthropy. Uh, but fear not. Wearing the silver anti-werewolf charm nightly will keep you, will keep the beast at bay. And as a last resort, the vial of wolfsbane may be ingested to banish the demon wolf entirely. All right, and the wolfsbane vial contains authentic dried wolfsbane. It's been individually labeled and sealed with a cork and red sealing wax. So there's some red sealing wax on the top. And it says this is real wolfsbane in there. So that's pretty cool, man. I really dig this. I really dig that. That's very nice. And this was meant to be Silva. Alright, next up. I've been looking forward to seeing this guy in person, too. Uh, our slasher magnet for the month is... Sammy. Trick or treat Sam. Man, this came out nice. I like it. Yeah, this is really cool. Alright, so we have Trick or Treat Sam. As you all know, I am quite the fan of Trick or Treat, uh, having made and sold my own uh, versions of the magnet as well as other uh, Trick or Treat type stuff. So I have been really looking forward to this. It's freaking awesome. Yeah, really sweet. The paint job on your magnets are always so fantastic. Two magnets on the back to hold them up. Take one more look at that guy. He is outstanding. I have quite a trick-or-treat, uh, whatchamacallums, collection going. I just remembered I moved my magnet board. I took the magnet board away briefly for the uh, Halloween stuff, so I'll put that up when the magnet board's back. And finally, the last item of the month, I believe, yes, is the plaque. And this wall plaque, wow, I like that. That's striking. Let me read this one for you guys. I always like to read the plaque information because it usually has a lot of good Lovecraft stuff in there. Let's see. <laughs> I'm going to try to pronounce this. Yog Sathoth Wall Plaque. Eh, Yog Sathoth knows the gate. Yog Sathoth is the gate. He, he's making me say this three or four times. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Yog Sathoth is the key and the guardian of the gate. Past, present, future. All are in Yog Sathoth. The, the eighth. Wow, eight. This has been going on for a while. Uh, the eighth in our series of the Lovecraftian wall plaques depicts the mighty and mysterious Yogg-Sothoth floating above Sentinel Hill. Inspired by Lovecraft tale, the Dunwich Horror, hand cast in solid resin with a faux wood and metallic green finish, measures four inches across. Awesome. I love, I love the plaques. They're so amazing. This one in particular is really striking. Um, ooh, I just noticed that my hanging guys are kind of kind of block in the plaques but they won't be there forever and I'll get this plaque up with the rest alright everybody I hope you liked this month's the September box a parcel of terror from Crypto Curium as I say pretty much every month really one of the best values for your mystery box first of all if you look at the website he almost always shows you what's in the box uh, except for October, which is going to actually be the first true mystery box from Jason. Uh, he usually posts what he's going to have, so you could pick and choose a box if you don't want to subscribe all the time. But otherwise, I mean, for the price, all handmade stuff, prints, uh, magnets, plaques, necklaces, keychains, stickers. Ah, you can't beat it. Really can't beat it. And it's just the highest of quality stuff, too. Cheers, everybody. Breathe deep in the night. I will check you all later.